Hey, good morning. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Tuesday, September 7th, and we have a lot to discuss. Now, this is your weather in the Midwest that's going on today. It's going to go all night tonight, and it's also going to drag into tomorrow. Uh, right now, it's about noontime, and you'll see everything still moving in from the central U.S. up to the Midwest. And this is getting into 7 o'clock tonight. You still got spotted showers going on. It's going into midnight. You're still carrying on the rain. So this is going to be a long uh, one or two days of rain coming to the Midwest. Plus, you have the freezing rain and the snow hitting over here towards the west side. Now, if we go towards the east coast, you'll see that North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia is getting the rain uh, from this uh, area off the, the east coast of cyclone formation. It's going to be disorganized the whole time, but it is going to leave thunderstorms and severe weather hitting North Carolina, Virginia, a little bit of South Carolina for the next day or two also as it moves up the East Coast. Now, this is about 9 o'clock tonight. You'll see that the storms start moving in really heavy. And this is overnight now as it goes through North Carolina and goes through Virginia. Now, 6 o'clock in the morning, this is still hitting Virginia in the morning. It's still hitting the East Coast of North Carolina. So this is going to be a long duration with this rain going on. Now, Texas is a whole nother story. So, Chuck, you might want to check with, with your son, man, because Texas, I'm just going to press play so you can see. Texas has so much going on as far as storms. It's hard to just isolate just one story about it. Now, this is going into 1 p.m. today, and watch out this afternoon. It ramps up right around 2, and then it gets really wild around 5. Uh, this is 8 p.m. You can see it's moving in. you got the freezing rain also in the north of Texas moving in. If all these storms are hitting overnight, this is 5 a.m. in the morning, and you're still getting severe storms in the central and south, southern Louisiana, I mean, southern Texas. Now, going into tomorrow, this is 1 p.m. tomorrow, and you are still getting all this rain. So be aware that you will have a lot of flooding issues, a lot of severe storms heading out through Texas and through the central U.S. Now, as I play for the whole country, you can see how there's just so much going on with this weather today, mostly in the Midwest. And as the day heats up, you got the problem on the East Coast with North Carolina and Virginia. And then this afternoon, you got the problem with the central U.S. and lower in Texas. Well, Texas looks like it's going to get the, the blunt end of it. As a matter of fact, it does show that it does have the most excessive rainfall coming down for Texas uh, for the next 24 hours. So be aware of that. Uh, I don't know if y'all have power still down there, but I tell you what, you definitely got some severe storms and a lot of flooding going on. So please be careful. And if you notice the storm on the East Coast, after it goes from North Carolina and Virginia, it continues to move up the East Coast as these days go along. And Florida does get rain as well on the lower, lower half of it. But Texas, you're just getting, getting flooded and flooded with storms for one to two days nonstop. So God bless y'all over there. I know you, you can't be liking that too much. Now I'm going to go through the temperature with you, let you see exactly what the change is going to be. For the next 60 hours because that is going to be something uh pretty dramatic uh, if you ask me so i'm gonna go ahead and let this load up so you can see what the temperatures will be and in the meantime i'm going to read to you isaiah 41. attend to me in silence you islands and let national groups themselves regain power let them approach at that time let them speak let us come up come up together close together for the judgment itself who has roused up someone from the sunrise? Who proceeded in righteousness to call him to his feet, to give before him the nations, and to make him go subduing even kings? Who kept giving them like dust to his sword, so that they have been driven about like mere stubble with his bow? Who kept pursuing them, kept peacefully passing along on his feet over the path by which he did not proceed to come? Who has been active and has done this, calling out the generations from the start? I, Jehovah, the first one, and with the last ones, I am the same. The islands saw and began to fear. The very extremities of the earth began trembling. They drew near and kept kept coming. They went when they went helping each each uh, one his companion, and one would say to his brother, "Be strong." So the craftsmen went strengthening the, the metal worker, the one doing the soothing, I'm sorry, and the one doing the smoothing out with the forge hammer, him that is, is hammering away at the anvil, saying regarding the soldiering, it is good, finally one fastened 
it with nails that it could not be made to totter. But you, O Israel, are my servant. You, O Jacob, who, am, who I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, you whom I have taken hold of from the extremities of the earth, and you whom I have called even from the remote parts of it. And so I said to you, you are my servant. I have chosen you, and I have not rejected you. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Do not gaze about, for I am your God. I will fortify you. I will really help you. I will really keep fast hold of you with my right hand of righteousness. Amen. So God bless you all on that fact right there. Now here's your temperature look so we can see what's going on with the temperatures for the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, the orange is the 70s. The darker shade of, of black orange is the 80s. The white is the 90s and the bright white is the 100s. But you can see that it does move in further and further south. Northern Texas is going to get a lot of that cold weather. Now this is going into 2 a.m. tomorrow. And you see that the cold weather goes all the way from the Midwest, all the way down to Texas, and all the way to the West Coast. Now, 10 o'clock tomorrow, the heat starts coming in, but it don't get too hot. You don't see the bad, bad whites. You only see the 80s, which is that dark color. But the cold temperatures move further and further south along Texas, so you will get more cold temperatures tomorrow as the days go along. Now, the day after tomorrow, it looks like, looks like when it's supposed to be subsiding a little bit, and it don't. If you look, you can see it does go away in the Midwest. It does go away sometime around 10 o'clock in the morning uh, from the central and the southern U.S., but that cold stays all the way until 1 p.m. on the 10th. So be aware of that, guys. So God bless y'all today. I appreciate y'all for watching. And I hope you have a great day.